we're going to do, we're going to go down the road to a pond. We're going to divide you up into groups. I think probably groups of, I guess, three. I want you each to take a testing tray with you. And what we're going to do is to look at the water in the pond that we're going to look at and look at what it contains, oxygen, the ecology, you know, the environment. And we'll see what fish are there, if any, what plants there, how much light supports what. Then we'll come back here with the samples, which I hope that you'll take. Right, shall we go? Come on, let's go, let's get on the coach. What would you like to do? What sort of stuff would you be interested in doing? I don't know, really. It's really hard, it's like a tricky one. I don't know what I want to do. Did you always know you wanted to do science? No, I didn't know what I was going to do. No, I didn't. Actually, I, I, I was always interested in science. I was about seven when I really got interested in science, but I didn't think seriously that I'd do science, and I thought for a long time I wouldn't. And actually, you know, I gave up. Um, I, 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 I briefly dropped out of science completely and did other stuff, and then decided that's really what I wanted to do. Um, but I knew I wanted to go to university. I mean, I did know that. I wasn't, you know, massively successful as a, as, a, 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 as a school kid or even at university. I think if people, you know, most of my friends at, at university, and certainly at school, um, since I've met them now, you know, years later, are amazed yeah. that, you know, I became a professor and stuff like that. They really found it very surprising. Because they, they didn't think that I would do that, you know, or be able to do that. This, is a, this isn't a lake, Robert. No, but bloody hell, it's not. Don't tell me, I know, I know. But it'll do, it'll do for what we want. It's very convenient. No, this is a lake, Robert, there's loads of dragonflies never there. But we'll find some stuff in there that should be interesting. So, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the different parts of this little pond, and we're going to see what grows under what conditions. We're going to look at the amount of light that the organisms get at different parts, because some parts will be darker than others. We're going to look at the temperature of the water, both at the top, at the surface of the water, and, and deep down, and see if that, if that uh, varies. And we're going to look at different chemicals and how they might affect pond life. What's the, what's the key element that keeps all things alive on the planet? <coughs> Sunlight. Well, that's, that's the key... Oxygen. Oxygen, Jenny. Oxygen, exactly. What we're, what we're mostly doing is looking at the relationship between oxygen and what do plants produce? Uh, CO2. Oh. Carbon dioxide. Well, actually, they... Oxygen. They, no. they produce Energy. carbon they produce, dioxide. They produce oxygen. No, they produce carbon dioxide. No, they, they no. don't. No, no. They, what they do is... Carbon monoxide. Yeah. Carbon dioxide is what they take out of carbon the atmosphere. Monoxide. No, carbon monoxide is what that horrible coach that we just come off has been making yeah. and poisoning us all. We won't find any carbon monoxide in this pond, will we? Right. Shouldn't do it. If we did, we'd be very seriously worried. Yeah. So, what we're going to give you each is a form, and we'll use this you know, as part of our sort of basis for Monday's lesson. Two groups with Craig, two groups with me. Right. Do you know what pH is, Emmy? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, there no, you go, sir. I, I recognise it. It's, it's a measure of the acidity of the water, all right? And it's, it's, it's quite a complicated scale, but neutral is seven. So anything below seven is acid, all right? And, yeah, and anything above seven is... What's the opposite of acid? Uh, any of you guys heard of pH? Yeah. You didn't, you didn't, what is it? You I don't know what it means, no. but I've heard of it. It's a measure of acidity. Like, yeah. Seven is neutral. Like pH, yeah. Is that so alkaline, alkaline acid? Right, OK, so Jake's got it. So, Jake, above seven is alkaline. Alkali, yeah. Below seven is acid. I want you to drop the probe into the and water. And you want me to have a look, yep. Do it. And, 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 and test it. So pop the probe in just here on the edge. pH of 6.6. .6. This will give you the temperature. Drop that in. That's it, OK. So the temperature is 13.2. OK. And the lux, the lux is the measurement of the light coming in from... Yes, it's randomly it's, changing. Yeah, probably it will change a bit. It'll depend how much mud there is in the water. Emmy, you check it as well, all right? So what you've got to do is to measure the temperature, the outside air, which is the about 13, 
and a luxe amount of light. So obviously it's here, because we're in daylight, it's quite bright, so it's about 13. When you put it in the water, it'll drop down, won't it? Because it's muddy, so try that. And just press the green to measure it. So I just put that... Just drop it in by the weeds. And press the green. And once it settles, then, we, then, we, then we'll record it. So the pond is a bit colder than the outside air. So guys, can you tell me what the pH is? <laughs> With a 7.7. Ricky? 7.6, 7.7. 7. Is that acid or alkali? I don't know. Alkali. Alkali. Good man. How Good man. You can you measure the pH out where you are? 8.2. So it's very alkali. I didn't even notice. 8.2. I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised it's that high. So is it very different? Right. So, eight, so can you put that down in your form? There's 8.2 more to the middle of the pond. Carl, can you um, measure the acidity or alkalinity just over there by those weeds? Thank you. I would think it'd be under eight, actually, if we, if we leave it long enough. 8.2. 8. 8. So, so, so it's quite so it's quite alkali where the plants are, plants are. What we're going to do now is to take some of the sampling bottles and take a sample of water. Right, Emmy, fill that with pond water where it's not too muddy. Yeah. Right, okay. Jake, would you um, take a sample of water by those reeds? Yeah. And if you'd like to mark this with the marker pen saying where you caught the water from, if you put south, a pond south, about, what, two metres in, isn't it? There you go, just in there, just see in front of your foot, yeah. try that sort of stuff. Oh, I got something. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, why are you making me do this? <gasps> oh my gosh. What? There's loads. Oh, there's a fish in there as well. There's loads of fish. Oh, wow. <gasps> that is so cute. Can I keep it? <laughs> Carl, see what you can catch. Oh, yes. Here comes my dragonfly nymph. Watch me, I'm a mate, I'm a mate. Oh, I'm wet. Where, where's the fish? Oh, you got a fish? Yeah. The oh, you got two fish! fish. Yeah, bring it here, let's have a look. I think they're minnows. Yeah, no, they're oh, they're back. Yeah, they should be alive. They won't bite you. No, they won't bite you. <laughs> now, now we need some pond water samples. Now, Kwame, can you wade in and fill that for me? Where did you get it from? OK, so... So, bank. But was it by the reeds or was it by the... Okay, so. We'll see if there's a difference. So that's south east. Oh, what is this? Look at this. It's not a fish. There it is. Uh, 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 yeah, I caught something. Stay still. I bring, bring it out of the water so I don't jump back in. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, stay, stay, stay. I'm getting out. Down. Put it in a jar. Yeah. You pick it up from a closet and jar come. Uh, blah blah. Does it have no legs yet? Does it have a joint leg? Is that joint? Would you say that's joint legs? No. They don't look like that, no. Does it have joint legs? They don't have joint legs, you go no, so you go up there. I reckon it's that one. Water scorpion. Yeah, I reckon it's that one as well. Oh sir, I found a water scorpion! What I was quite interested in was the sort of weed it was living in, and see that weed there is quite different. Um, it's well, that's algal. That's an algal. Mm -hmm. mm, terrific. When you agree. Congratulations. Thank that you. That may be the prize specimen. Are you taking all the glory for my thing? 
No, it's mine. I got it. I actually got this it. What you, this effort. is what you call it's teamwork. It's not team effort. I went this into is, the This is what you call teamwork. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we can go back on the coach. Does it have one or more? Does it doesn't have any tail. Yeah, have a look underneath it. It does. It does, yes. Right, no, it doesn't. Does it have a tail? No, have a... it has spikes. No. Does it run or skate on the surface? It was no. a no. Can you see body segment segments on the back of its abdomen? You can, yep. Yes. Does it have short, stubby wings? You can't see the wings, but if it did, it would, yes. Yes. Dragonfly Nymphus. Nymph. Oh, hey, little Nymphus. That's so cute. Michael. If you look at the screen here, you'll see something which is quite interesting from the pond, because this is the basis of, of all life. Notice that what we've got here is a cylinder, all right? with these two ends. This is a single cell. It's an alga. So these are what all, basically all plants are made like this. And you'll see swimming around between the plants are these little microorganisms. They're probably Daphna, but you can see them. These are little living oh single cell organisms. So oh, this, is, this is just what you can see with the, with, with the, with the microscope. Here's rather a nice view of one of these, one of these little animals. What is it, a fish? It's not a fish, no, it's, 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 a, it's a single celled animal. Now, the, one of the things, one of the ways that you can tell the difference between a plant and an animal is pretty obvious. Basically, the plants aren't moving, and the animals will be. Um, of course, that's not that's any part of the definition, but notice how these plant cells in the algae are filled with this green material, which is the, chlor which is the chlorophyll. And that, that, makes the, that releases the oxygen, which makes the pond water uh, capable of living in with these microorganisms. But it's quite a nice picture. <laughs> take it off, take it off, take it off. Where's it gone? Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see it. I was. <laughs> I thought there was a lid on it, I, and I touched it, and it wriggled. Put it like, just put it like next to, like now next to this tube, so then we don't get it mixed up. We're testing, yeah. This one is testing the water for nitrate, Ni nitrate, is it nitrate? And then this one is for iron. Craig, what's this one for? That one's the water hardness. Do you know like when sometimes water you see in lime scale when you're like things like that, so yeah. it sees how much how hardness hard. is in it. Right, and then, and then with that, yeah, with that, yeah, pour 10, like you see where that line is there? Yeah. Pour up to that 10 mil line. I've got actually got the one. Yeah, that's right. And then. Actually, isn't right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then get one of these. And pour the powder into there. It's not a lot of powder. Can't even see it. That's, that's it. There's like nothing in it. And then put the lid on it. And then put your finger over that hole and like give it the shape. Oh, look at the bread. It's bread. 
and then pour it into this side. Well, like that. Stop it! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't cut up things like that. And then we've got to leave that. See what colour turns blue. And this one, yeah, you've got to match the colour of that to them. Yeah, that's that one, isn't it? Them one. Yeah, so that's how hard the one is. I don't know what that is. What hard is. And then you've got to match that one with this one, like round the side. Splitting that one, isn't it? Yeah. So that's got none of nitrate in it. And then the same with that one. That one is the, is the is number two. That one's zero. That one's zero. And then look, yeah. Because this is how much of that phosphate is in it. And like, because like, that's how, if it went really dark, that's how it would be and it goes light and lighter. Because it ain't turned blue, then there's not much in it. So there's none of that pos, pos phosphate in it. I don't understand why it might be. You've yeah. got a lot of organisms there, haven't you? There's loads. I've seen this wiggly. Fantastic. Fantastic. I took it out of the mushroom. Yeah. You took it out of the mushroom? Yeah, the mushroom juice. Right. And you see, yeah, and you see, look, one of the things you've got there, Carl, these are, those are the larvae from that worm thing, you know, the worm. That's probably the baby worms in their larval stage, so. What's that big wiggly thing up there? That's the worm. That's part of the worm. One of those. So it's a nematode. It's called a nematode. So these these would be. If you, if you move it across a bit, you can get it in the middle. That's fascinating. Yeah. That kind of worm is what all biologists use to study development. It's a very very important model. Is it? Mm. Mm. One of the most key organisms. Yeah, yeah it is there. Fair, well done. Hey guys, I hope whenever you walk past a pond, whenever you walk past a pond again, you'll just look at that screen and think, look at the number of living creatures that are in that one tiny droplet of water. Just, just absolutely amazing how many different kinds of creatures that, that are living in that, in that drop of water. Isn't that amazing? It's astonishing, isn't it?